So this is a Kurz Halloween candy. It is something that you can only get in Canada from my understanding. Now the reason why I'm talking about it today is because I think something strange is going on with this candy and this company and I may have figured it out. Now back in 2017 there was even this big social media thing where people were saying it's the worst Halloween candy ever and the company was even defending it online. It was like the biggest thing to happen in Canadian news in the last decade. Now if you're wondering what does a Kurz candy taste like, you can actually make it at home if you want to try it. Just take one Tootsie Roll, melt it on low heat in a pan, add half a teaspoon of quick dry cement for texture, and then three ounces of diarrhea for flavor. And there you go, you got a Kerr's Halloween candy. But then I started thinking, why would this company keep producing this candy for Halloween that clearly nobody likes and nobody wants, especially not kids? And then that got me thinking about all those stories that you hear about kids getting dangerous things put into their Halloween candy for some reason. These sick people putting things like razor blades and stuff into people's Halloween candy. So here's some examples of that here. And then there's another example here for you. And then here's one more example of uh, dangerous things being hidden in people's candy. And then this gave me the idea that a Kurz candy would be the perfect thing to hide something inside of, like a secret voice recording device, for example. So I believe that the Kurz company is hiding small recorders inside each candy so they can record people's conversation for marketing purposes. And you're probably thinking, well, what if somebody bites into one of the candies and finds the recording device? How has that never happened before? And that's what's so perfect about it, because the second your tongue hits a Kurz Halloween candy, your fight or flight response triggers and you either spit it out or run away. But no one's ever gotten to the center of one of these candies before. So it's actually the perfect plan. So all those times you've heard people get upset because they were just talking about some kind of item, some kind of product, and then they open up their phone and they find that there's an ad being displayed for that exact item they were just talking about and they think their phone is listening to them. Well, it's not the phone, it's a Kurz candy. Now, if you think this is a little too far-fetched to believe, check out some of this spooky math that I did. So a bag of these Kurz candies on their website comes with around 80 pieces per bag. Now, one of these small voice recorders that you can purchase sells on Amazon for $78.58. If you take the 80 from the number of candies in the bag and you subtract $78.58, the price of the recorder, it gives you 1.42. Well, it also just so happens that 1.42 inches is the exact width of this Halloween-themed glow-in-the-dark scotch tape. And I thought, okay, scotch tape, what does that mean? Well, scotch is an adjective for the word Scotland. So I start looking into Scotland and I come across Clan Kerr, which was a Scottish clan during the Middle Ages and just so happens to have the name Kerr. So it appears that this ancient clan has evolved over time and become the Kerr's candy company that we know of today. Well, then things get even more terrifying because if you look on the Kerr's website under the About Us section, it says that the first Kerr's candy store was opened in St. Thomas, Ontario in Canada, Ontario being where I'm from. So we've got St. Thomas and Kerr. Well, it just so happens that my brother's name is Thomas Herr, which is obviously dangerously similar. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but we are also Scottish. So then I realized that my brother is somehow twisted into this messed up Halloween conspiracy. And I don't know how I didn't realize something was up previously, because just look at this picture of him playing at the park when he was a kid. I don't know how I missed all of this. Well, guys, I hope that this Halloween conspiracy didn't scare you too much. I clearly have to go into hiding now until this all blows over. So I'll probably spend a couple of weeks in my basement with my Patreon supporters until this all blows over. If you want to join us in the basement, there's a link to my Patreon in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.